you're okay reading. so but um, we gotta say hi first hi hold on <laughs> welcome to talking tea are we are we going bitches <laughs> Somebody get her. <laughs> Hold on, let me stop. My personality might be too much. Let me stop. Oh, please. Let me stop my... oh, who is... is your our energies aligned? Oh, you're uh, you're you're petty. Do you're we, petty. Do we need to align our energies. You mad petty, yo. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're mad petty. I'm that's sorry. so unnecessary. Sorry. Are we putting that in? Am I, I don't keeping give a that? Fuck yes. I'm not saying I don't. I know you don't give a fuck. I ain't about it. if you give a fuck. I was just I didn't know no, if we started. It's fine. And like honestly, like the person that made that comment, like we had a really nice, healthy dialogue. Like it's totally fine. It was just it just made me laugh because I'm sure there are other people that feel that way. So I don't know. Somebody get I'm petty. Her. Like y'all don't know I'm petty. I'm petty. I'm in therapy and I'm working on it. I've gotten better. I'm not as petty. <laughs> I'm in as therapy I and I'm working on it, but <laughs> bitch, I'm petty. <laughs> we all petty. I'm petty. Listen, anybody that fucks with us the long way is petty too. <sighs> Our cat's petty. Please keep fucking with us the long way. Um, hey y'all, welcome to a new episode of Talk and Tea with Pilar and JD. That's yeah. us. We are here for your entertainment. <laughs> what the? What's so funny? No, we're not here for their entertainment. We're here oh, to I mean, just yeah, talk I, and share our like. We're not. We're here for our own personal benefit. Little monkeys and just dance. Just had to say monkey, didn't you? <laughs> just had to say monkey. Why? Why? Why you say monkey? Come on now. Like, Not that it's a bad thing. I know. I just don't like when black people. I know. You know. I'm sorry. So we monkeys. No, huh? I ain't no motherfucking monkey. You all this motherfucking monkey. Just Ooh, I was gonna say something so inappropriate. What is that noise? The fuck? Oh, oh. What is that? My timer for the tie dye is going off. Brb. Brb. <laughs> Get your ass back here. Where yeah. you think you don't knock? Don't knock until you better <laughs> like Jenga. You better not touch not one of these cameras and mess them up. Pilar, why would you go through the middle? <laughs> and you fucked it up. And you fucked Shut it up. Up, and you fucked and it. It's fine now. No, it's not Shut center. Up. It's Shut not. It is. All right. Well, while she goes to get her tie dye, um, she's making tie dye face masks for people who are less fortunate don't have them. What? I'm talking about your tie dye stuff in a positive light. It like hate from here. Why don't you, why don't you hate, hate up some food? Why don't you hate up some food? <laughs> go around this way. No. Pull our please go around that way. What you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? This podcast. This is, is what our marriage is. This, this is it. You know what's funny? It's the People. You know what's funny? Out. You know what's funny? First off, get your ass out the camera. Say. Give a fuck. Oh my gosh! I'm. G rated. Nah, we good. I, uh, we have a three camera set up now, y'all. So we we upgraded the podcast for uh for you know just for quality purposes. Um, JD's always the funny to... part about this goofy ass podcast is the fact that like this is gonna be <laughs> don't fuck up the mics, man. Shut up. Just don't God. do it. Just don't do it. JD, just like relax. Just like catch a vibe. You know that's not how people relax. You always tell me that. <laughs> this is true. Therapy. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Kelly. <laughs> she is the best therapist ever. Yes. She really is, though. Because, well, like, think about where I was a year ago to, like, how I am now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Did you I'm have some yet? So sorry. Did you? <laughs> Did you? Have Did you? No, 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 I mean, I guess we're already in it. We don't really need to intro it again. Oh, thanks. Welcome to Talk and Tea with Pilar and JD. What did, what did we just what did we just vibe. talk about? You said it's fine for a quick thing, but not a 24-minute fee. So. <laughs> no, that was Here. not the moral of Problem this. solved. Problem solved. Look at take that. Your goddamn, Look at that. Take your goddamn. Look at that. Take your goddamn. Come God to me with solutions. Take your goddamn apple juice. <laughs> it's not apple juice. And as much as he wants to sit here and talk shit, he blows through these. He ate two of them two days ago at night because he wanted a snack. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. But they're apple juice right now. It's not apple juice. Shout it's, out what to is Noka. It? It's Noka Organics. I love them, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I'm trying to get it there. You gotta do the old. No, no, you don't. You, you, I had it a second ago. There you go. 
Noka, we love you. Well, this isn't sponsored. Like, we bought this. I paid for it. We paid for it. Whatever. But they're really great. I actually found out about them um, coming back from New York one time. Yeah. Why was I in New York without you? I don't know. Because you'd be in these streets. Oh, uh, sure. But yeah, it Why was is really good. Oh, never mind. Don't worry about it. What? Dude. Oh, Fashion Week. When I went to Fashion oh, Week. Oh, Fashion Week. Oh. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to get another one. Oh, yeah, that's true. So sad. Never. It's never coming back. Hey, hmm? relax. Relax. Okay, are we supposed to, like, start this podcast? Or, oh, oh Drea, don't you. Look at this. Drea is over. I'm not, She's like, I'm I got to go. I'm not looking at the cat. I'm not. And also, yes, we are in the podcast now. I'm letting it all fly. I'm done trying to be perfect. Here we are. Oh, my God. I love that. Oh, my God. Yes. I love that for you. I love that for I me. I love that for you. I love that for me as it's well. Amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Hey. No problem. Thank you. Hey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done trying to be perfect. Hey. What? That's how I talk. <laughs> okay. Hey. Welcome back. <laughs> That dolphin noise you just heard <laughs> was this squeaky little. Is it porpoise? Is that what the, the fuck? <laughs> you better watch what you call me. You better know. A porpoise. You better know what you Wait, say. Wait, a, por- a porpoise is a. Hey Siri, what's a porpoise? Uh uh-uh. uh. Hey Siri, what's a porpoise? Porpoises are a group of fully aquatic marine mammals, all of which are classified under the family Phaconidae. Parvorder it onto CD. Should I keep going? No. Yes. There are seven extant species of porpoise. They are small <laughs> toothed whales that extinct. are very closely related to oceanic dolphins. The most obvious See? physical difference between the two I got it. is that porpoises porpoise. have shorter feet. Dolphin. That's what I called you. Thank you, Siri. That, that and spacey, that's what you What you doing? Me. You can pull up. I'm trying not to. That, that, that drink doesn't make a lot of slurp slurp. So it you're, does a little bit. Well. Whatever. Dude, just like podcast, you know? Don't eat. Don't, don't eat. JD, just podcast. <laughs> Pilar, what, start it off. We have to continue from the last goddamn podcast, don't you we? Don't, you don't remember? Hmm? Honestly, I we at the end of our last podcast, we talked about. Uh, you didn't read the show notes? <laughs> <laughs> show notes fuck out of here. Show notes. Um, you, didn't, you didn't read the shot list at the end shot list <laughs> that doesn't even make sense i'm just god bro just it's a joke like obviously there's no shot list <laughs> <Just> clearly <laughs> it's a good one <laughs> we're matching today <laughs> I don't want to do it, but can you move the mic near your mouth? It is near my mouth. It's literally right here. I know, but... What do you want? What do you want? What do you want this? Do you want this is what you want? <sighs> this? This? I couldn't help myself. I got a problem. Yeah. I got a problem. <laughs> I got a serious problem. You do. Like, it makes, it makes me feel funny. I don't know what it is, but I just get so uncomfortable <laughs> when I feel like shit ain't in, in straight, narrow, a line circular symmetrical you're worried about the wrong shit i'm not worried my my body starts to tingle in a way that (laughs) in a way that superman feels when he knows his powers are coming about or how bat or how spidey has a spidey sense i I tingle with anxiety when shit ain't the way i want it tingle (laughs) you don't ever tingle girl oh hey speaking of which you guys like our new set Oh yeah! Ah shit! Our cameras. Yeah, it's it's okay. Just work through it. Yeah. All right. We got. We got a. We're in my office. We're in my office. Yeah. I'm telling them where we are. We're in my office. I made us a. What is it called again? An art gallery wall. Yeah. Well, not necessarily for you. I made it for myself. But I made it, and I was like, this would be a great place to podcast uh, compared to the living room because I can actually control everything from here in one fell swoop. And uh, record seamlessly, which is great because this is going to be one quickly live edited piece of content that I can immediately upload to the Internet and not make you wait six months for. So you're welcome. All right. Uh, this is a hell of a somebody podcast. get her. <laughs> Honey. What? 
finish your goddamn drink. JD, not, just no, like talk I, about like the thing that I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Okay, where we leave off? We left off with you, you in the car being weepy and me going to go buy a video game. Is that not what happened? Am I me <laughs> being in the car and being weepy or sweepy? <laughs> <laughs> ladies, not, well, I, ladies, ladies, you are not a lady, so shh, ladies. Let's go. If there isn't in your relationship or your marriage, more importantly, if you don't want to, if you don't have homicidal thoughts, what once a month? Get out! You're ruining my shot. If you don't have homicidal thoughts once a month, I don't know that you're going to make it. Actually, once a week. What? Yeah. Homicidal? Like, not really. Oh, my God. It's hard. Homicidal? I'm joking. I'm joking. Also, I would like to apologize in the last podcast if I painted you to be, like, some sort of anything that you weren't. I feel like at a certain no. point. Well, I watched it back, and I was like, J.D., stop being so goddamn cringy with your wife. What's wrong with you? What do you mean cringy? Like, like, like in the moments where I sat back, and I was like, hold on now. Mm-mm. Hold them feelings to yourself. Mm-mm. Stop you trying. Know. Stop trying. to Let it out on me. Because I was like, I was, ju- I mean, it wasn't serious, and you knew that. But I forgot, I didn't realize how it comes off. And like, I was like, and it just seemed like I was uncomfortable. I'm like, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm like doing little jabs because I'm an asshole. <laughs> like, well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like, honestly, I, you do get a little uncomfortable when we, because t- you just don't, you like moving forward. You have no interest in like, not to say that our story doesn't matter. No, to you, Drea. Just let no. It, God damn it. The cat jumped on my desk. I'm sorry. Let it go. Like, let it go. No, but I mean, like, you just are like, okay, that was then. This is now. Like, yeah, I get it. That happened. But, like, you're not one to dwell on things like that. I try not to. Like, you're pretty. What's the word? Um, Focused on my future. <laughs> no, that wasn't what I that's was That's not thinking. it. Are I mean, you sure? That is it. But I was looking for another I think that's word. What it was. You're just, I don't know, whatever. You're just, you're special. <laughs> fuck does that mean <laughs> special fuck i said <laughs> she said the fuck, I, the fuck i said fuck i said anyway oh man should i close the blinds no no but what we left off on was um we just really quickly went over like we did the emails and then we really quickly went over um when we met up at empire center and um the empire talked for the first time post emails yeah and uh, and i remember we were in the car and we were chatting i remember being uh in the passenger side i, m- I remember where we parked we were right in front of Bevmo. yeah yeah i remember that see I remember, I remember i remember things me too there i go um but yeah i remember we had this was after us and our emails mm-hmm. to each other and then like yeah. saying so what's the plan or something. I mean, it wasn't a what's the plan. It was I drew a line in the sand for myself and you made it very clear that, you know, you weren't going to cross that line. You were going to stay where you were. And so we had like I think we had reached out to each other like via text or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we set a time to meet and you moved it <laughs> to later because you had to go to GameStop. And I can't remember if it was Halo. I think it was Halo. A game came out and. Probably, probably Halo or Smash. Yeah. Smash. I don't know. No, it wasn't Smash, but it was like Halo. And you... Yeah, if it wasn't Smash, I would have called the whole thing off. Wow. <laughs> Dude, fuck, you, fuck you. <laughs> I'm fuck playing, you. girl. Girl, you know I don't feel like that girl. Yeah, you do. Listen, girl. You cried at the last Nintendo Ooh. Direct Ooh. over banjo Kazuzu. I cried. I cried at a few Nintendo <laughs> Yeah, and not one tear at our wedding. Dumbass camera keeps laughing. Not one tear at our wedding. Just like smiles and laughter which is great i'm not complaining he was happy during our wedding so was so i happy but i just thought it was really funny i'm like wow mario and banjo kazooie can get a fucking tear but like me no no it's not but it sure i guess if you want to see it that way i know you don't i know you don't technically see it Obviously that way but I, I know what you mean um but back to what we were talking about so we were in the car and then i mean i don't remember the the full gist of the conversation i know that we just kind of we just were trying to like figure it out basically and you know i'd stood my ground and told you like because it was funny because we were talking like we you know did the small talk thing and then we just started talking about it and at one point you were like you're giving you're giving me an ultimatum and i'm like no that's the problem with people that have testicles you think it's about you and it has nothing wait, to wait, do wait, with wait, you wait hold on why are you coming for all those testicle boys because you guys like a lot of times and this isn't like a generalization this is just in the the context of what i was talking about at that time Uh was i was saying like 
I want to be in a relationship. I would love if it was with you. If not, that's cool. But like, I just can't keep doing this situationship crap. Like, it's just not working for me. And as a woman, I'm making a choice for myself. And you were like, but you're giving me an ultimatum. You're saying if I like you, we have to date or like we can't be around each other. And I'm like, no, I'm saying I'm not going to do this anymore. This has nothing to do with you. This is everything to do with me and how I'm choosing to live my life moving forward. But isn't me being a part of it? Uh, I know this is about you. It was about you and your life. But my thing is, in hindsight, isn't the other person who's a partner receiving some sort of you can have this or have that? No, because you weren't my... You can choose to do this or choose that. There are choices there. There are choices there, but at the end of the day, you weren't my boyfriend. You weren't my partner. You were my best friend and someone I didn't realize I was in love with at that point. Like, I knew I loved you. I just didn't want to admit it to myself yet Mm -hmm. um, because it would have been even harder. if I was like, oh, my God, I'm so in love with him, and now he's, like, gone. Mm -hmm. Um, No, it it really, like, it, it, it didn't come from a place of, like... I'm going to give him a choice and he better choose right. No, I know it didn't come from that it position. It was just but like, I'm I just, can't do this. Like, I can't. But I'm saying at, in layman's terms, isn't that what that is? Like, kind of like a fork in the road. Like, you can either go left or you can go right. It yeah. Af- it affects both people. One person's choosing to do this with their person d- decision. And then the other per this fucking camera's killing me. You y'all. gotta, like, <laughs> you can't stop every like I'm, two minutes. I'm and- going crazy because our camera's lagging. I apologize. <laughs> Let me not focus on that. But uh, like you were saying, regardless of if, <laughs> regard, well, I'm saying regardless of if it's your uh, whoever, whoever it is making these decisions, even either though, uh, either way, on the other end of that that whole thing, it's still. It, like, it's not an ultimatum for you. I mean, it's not even an ultimatum for the other person. It's more, no. It, it, I mean, but isn't it? No, because I'm it, not. It wasn't a... Like, to me, ultimatums are like, you have a choice to do this or to do that. Figure it out. Like, ultimatums have an underlying... Um, deception to them? Not deception, but they are... Man, okay, that's what it is. That's what I'm, Yes. Ultimatums, I feel like, are based in manipulation. You are get, leaving this person with no other desirable choice. Like, you're almost guilting them into feeling bad for the choice you know they want to make. So you're trying to, like, mm-hmm. manipulate them and, like, get them to do what you want. I and get that. that's not where I was coming from. I was telling you, like, hey, this is where I'm at. This is how I feel. I've expressed this a little bit before, but I've never really put my foot down. And now I just I can't do this anymore. I care about you. I want you in my life. And maybe and I even told you that I was like, I think maybe down the road, like we could have a friendship, but I don't know what that looks like right now because we've never been friends. And I just I I just I can't do this anymore. It's too hard. I get that because ultimatum is like kind of like you need to decide this or that. And what you were doing was, hey, I'm deciding for myself. Yeah, I'm taking myself out of the equation. Well, I mean, you're still part of the other person's equation to an extent. I get it. Yeah, you know what I mean. But it's like I'm taking myself out of the equation and I'm doing this with my life. Mm -hmm. You can figure out what to do with that. That's more of it. It was more of like, this is the choice that I'm making. Mm -hmm. And I want you like to know whatever choice you decide, whether you decide to be with me or you decide to go live your life by yourself or with someone else. I support that and I'm okay with that. But I just, I have to do what I have to do Mm -hmm. to to, to just be healthy and just to protect myself. And to do what's best for yourself. Yeah. And like, You know, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that because it wasn't done with malice. It was like, I still really care about you, but how you want to have me in your life is too painful. Mm -hmm. It just hurt too much. I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, it's not cohesive to your way of living or anyone's way of living for that matter. I get that. And then uh, and then uh, is there more of a story to tell? I mean, there's more because like obviously we got together and there's all this stuff. But I'm saying I mean, I think like what's left of that is like, you know, we had the conversation and we just kind of came to this impasse of like, 
I'm gonna, I gotta go. I can't do this anymore. And you were just like, I think you were really torn because like by the time I was getting ready to leave, you were like teary eyed. And I think you just. You love bringing that up. I mean, love bringing up my teary eyes. <laughs> but I was gonna say, yeah, that's true. I well, would've. I mean, like that's how, honestly, like for real, for real, that's how I really knew you actually cared. Mm-hmm. That's how I knew that you felt an inkling of what I felt for you before then it was like, yes, he said it, but like you were back and forth and we weren't a couple. And there was just all this, this space for shit to happen as opposed to, you know, like us just being together and us being on the same page and knowing what it was. So when you got teary eyed, I was like, Oh my, Whoa. Like he actually like, he cares like he he's a little hurt like it wasn't like a satisfying thing i i wanted to comfort you and make you not feel that way but that meant that i had to compromise myself and i just couldn't do it anymore i feel that I believe that makes you. sense and I then believe. we went and we had uh, what was it two a month two months no so separated from each other we got out of the car um you went your way i went mine i was like crying super hard i like could not drive i had to pull over i was just like fucking hyperventilating Mm -hmm. um and then you it was like in that was in october and then like we went into november and you went on the road with your dad and that was the cat thing yeah and like you would text me every now and again Mm -hmm. and i would set a timer on my phone (laughs) yeah to not text you back i think i like you mentioned this the other day yeah but we weren't recording you just mentioned it. I mentioned it like tw- like briefly at the end of our last recording too. Um, the timer it, thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. But I'm, yeah, we we also did talk about it like off camera. But um, uh-huh. yeah, so I would like set a timer and like you were you were trying to be really sweet and I was just trying like very hard not. It was November. I remember I like offered to bring you like then I offered to bring you a plate from oh, Loretta's. Oh no! Before we even get into that. What are we getting into? Before we get into that, can we please talk about? So, what? It's probably been like a couple of days or a week. I don't know, not that much longer after we have like the conversation and go our separate ways. Mm-hmm. And somebody sitting next to me thinks it's like a super out cool idea to record a YouTube video. Oh no, I don't want to talk. Love. I don't want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're talking <laughs> about it. No, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. We're talking about it. Okay, singing, let me let me talk about it then. Let me lo- talk. Let, let me, me talk just, about. Let me just finish my sentence. Mm. Singing "Love" by Music Soul Child. Okay. Just conveniently, it was very convenient. And then you're on Instagram. Not to say that he couldn't, but like he just. Lo- I mean, obviously, he just looked normal on Instagram, and I'm like dying inside. <laughs> but then also, like, where did I post it? Just on YouTube. YouTube just bro. on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. And I then deleted that with the quickness. And then I tried I mean, to be like a so. little insta thought for five hot seconds, not doing anything crazy, just like um, trying to look cute, you know, like, you know, looking cute is not being insta thought. I mean, for me, it was, you know, oh. I was like sister, like super, super like sister Christian. Yeah. I mean, not super sister Christian back then, but like I was I don't know, bro. I just like I hadn't boned yet. I guess that's what it was. Mm, so like, like I was like, oh, my God, like. I hope he sees this. Like, just being immature, <laughs> like just being young and in my twenties, and just wanting the guy that I was in love with to just love me back. I feel that. But let's talk about that video, guy. I don't want to get too far into it because uh, I... we're here. All right, listen. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the ten minute podcast, bro. We got time, time. I know we got time. Rona gave. I us don't want time. it to be too too long, though, right? Who I don't. Cares? I I guess I do. Whatever. Um, look, I was in my feelings. Key key. Um because we've actually never really talked about this. I mean, there's not really much to talk about it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I was like emotional and uh upset about what our our impasse that we came to. And I sat back and wanted to I don't know. I was just expressing myself. I was listening <laughs> to that song. I was singing it a few times. It's a song that means stuff to me. And I in, in internalized that as what it meant for you. And I sat back and I sang it to myself <laughs> and tried and tried, tried internet. to hold a tune. Put it on the internet. I, know you I, put have, it, I did put it on the you internet. You can actually sing. That's like the great part. Thanks, honey. Like you hit those notes like pretty strong. I do, don't I? 
Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but I remember singing it and then posting it. And I didn't really, I mean, I knew that it, 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 it like, yeah, I, I, I can't lie. It was for sure about you, but it was one of those things where I was like, oh, she's not going to even notice or care. I, uh, you just jumped. Thank God I didn't see that. Reenact your jump. No. Come on. That was it. <laughs> okay. Like. All right. But hey. Remember where we are <laughs> now. No, Remember fuck that. where we fuck are that. now, everybody. No. Everything's cool. Is it? <laughs> all you cool, it all you cool, cool cats, cats and kittens. kittens. <laughs> Um, oh my so yeah goodness. you did that video and i remember like talking to tasha and being like what the fuck he posted this video like what like i don't get it and i was like you know what i just can't and that's when i unfollowed you from like instagram damn and i had to i got you you know because i was gonna you know and it was so funny because you know people were like it's gonna work out and i'm like yeah no you can't give me hope like i will cling on to that like a fucking life raft and no like no, I'm not. No, it's done. Like, it's cool. And then you were texting me. I would, like, text you back, like, whatever. And it started to piss me off because I was just like, what part of you can't have your cake and eat it, too, does, like, this person not understand? Like, I am. All of it. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> and I mean, I wasn't trying. I mean, you were, you were trying you know to be why? cute. But it wasn't like I was trying to do it for my own benefit. I had been hurt in the past, and I didn't want to get hurt again. That's what the main issue was. I know, but that was always the and part. I was And I was hiding behind that for, you know, yeah. ever. And I was just sitting back, and I, and then eventually, I was like, well, are you willing to lose someone who might be really good for you just because you're scared? And then I was like, no, I guess not. And that was the crazy part. Like, I knew you were scared because I knew about your past relationship, and, like, we'd talked about it. But I just didn't understand after a certain point like how you didn't realize i wasn't gonna be that bitch what do you mean like i wasn't gonna hurt you like that like that was the part that i always... don't know because insecurity because insecu- insecu- <laughs> because insecurity insecurities get you and it's just one of those things the same way that we can't ra- can't rationalize other people's behavior I, yeah no I mean, i'm trying yeah. to tell you this is exactly <laughs> what it was that's exactly what it was talk about me being petty you that's not petty i'm not talking about anyone in particular <laughs> I ain't got shit to say about nobody. You are lying. I ain't talking about nobody. I'm just talking about. I in mean, the this sen- is called talking tea. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying in the sense of like I, the same way I can't understand certain people is the same way that I, you probably couldn't understand why I couldn't fathom that you wouldn't hurt me. I mean, I I, got I didn't it. think I never thought you would hurt me. I was just like, I don't even want to take the chance. Yeah. I didn't even want to take the risk. That yeah. was the, that was the issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then. Uh, Ow. So. <laughs> sorry, my knee. Oh, fuck. Jesus, don't mess up. Don't go in between. Don't mess up the cameras. Facts. Um, no. So then, so we're talking and or like not talking. We're texting, whatever. And then you came back, and it was Thanksgiving, and I was house sitting for Chelsea. Shout out to Chelsea. You're my girl. You're my girl blue. And she um she had gone back home and I was ha- I was apartment sitting for her because I was living with Molly and Vanessa at the time because I was moved out of my uh place in the same building or in the other building with that girl I lived with and then um moving to Koreatown, but I had to like save money, blah blah blah. So I was like sleeping <laughs> yeah, people don't know this sleeping on my mattress on the floor of my friend's living room lot or loft in their living room and since my friend chelsea was going out of town she let me apartment sit so i could like be by myself have my own space and jd and all his cuteness um wanted to bring me a plate of food um on thanksgiving because i was by myself and i was totally fine with that i was like please i don't need to hang out with my family like i'm cool whatever and um you i remember you called me that morning yeah and i didn't i never told you this i didn't mean to answer the phone so i pretended to be asleep so what you picked up the phone sleeping no 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 i was wide awake but i didn't mean to answer your call oh you answered and uh, then you were like hello and i was like oh what <laughs> and like why oh so why'd you just hang it up 
because like you already was talking yeah you were like hey hello and you were like oh and you were like and then you hung up on me no you were like are you sleeping and i was like what what's going on and then i'll and then and then you were like i i i kind of i call your ass back no no i made you do it yeah and you were just like pilar and i was like and you were like you sleep bye (laughs) (laughs) that sound like me yeah man you sleep you sleep bye Bye. and then you came over or we started texting like later on and um you came over with a plate from Loretta's. We still have that plate. <laughs> oh, the physical plate. I was like, you talking about that mac and cheese is still no, hot and ew. fresh? That's like four, five years ago. No. How long ago was that? Oh, almost eight years. Ooh, if that mac and cheese was good to <laughs> go, baby. So um, you came over with the plate and you were trying to be all cute and normal. And I wanted no parts of it like i remember we sat on chelsea's couch and I oh i remember sat, that i sat on one end she used to live in hollywood joints no 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 or downtown that... oh remember yeah yeah that? yeah yeah my bad my bad oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. okay um and i sat on the couch and uh-huh. you sat on the other side and then you like tried to move towards me and i moved away and you were like don't be like that and i'm like stay on your side of the couch don't like, be like that you're like i don't know what the fuck you think this is girl don't be like that shut up and then the same, we, hey, oh hey, my listen, God, i'm hey, gonna hey, punch hey, you in the throat the same way you be being like that about them bells don't be like that. Oh, suck that. my d- dude. Don't, shut the... Sh- <sighs> shut up. It's, don't be like that. I know Tom Nook got you out here. I'll beat Tom Nook's ass. <laughs> I'll beat the bricks off that little raccoon. Please. He's a tanuki. I don't give a fuck what he is. All right. Well. Anyways. So then we walked her dog. hmm Dolce. R.I.P. And... Damn. Yeah. Sad. Um, so we walked her and then we like finally started like talking about what was going on and i remember like my heart dropping a little bit because we like finally got to the nitty-gritty of the conversation and excuse me you were like um like how have you been blah blah blah. i'm Mm -hmm. like you know like excuse me we talked about how we both felt and then at the same time we were like and we said in sync it's hard but we're okay like, I would say, I was like, yeah, it's hard, but I'm okay. And you said the same thing. And then I was just like, damn, yeah, we're definitely not getting back. Like, we're not going to be a couple. Like, I'm just, I'm really got to let this go. Because, like, you were like, it's hard, but, like, I'm okay. Like, we both weren't, like, I was mm. pretending not to be wrecked. And I think you were, too. We were both trying to, like, kind of front. Like, we were better than we were. And then we went back to the permit. And, you know, you went on your merry little way. And then you pulled the ultimate dick move. Got into the elevator and you kissed me on the forehead and I pushed you off of me. And you were like, what are you doing? Don't do that. Stop. Hey, what are you doing? And I was just like, Come get these forehead kisses. No, girl. I was like, you don't get to fucking kiss me. Don't kiss me. And you're like, Pilar, please. And I was like, please. no, no, I was like, we're not together. Please. Don't kiss me. And you were just like, can I have a hug? And I was like, yes, fine. You can have a hug. Can I have a hug now? No. And then you, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you went on your way. And then, oh, this is oh, this is the piece Lele. de la resistance. What's that? Um, you hit me up. Mm. I was working at Millennium at the time. And you wanted to take me to lunch. And this was like, like probably the next week after Thanksgiving. And I was like, okay, well, mm-hmm. whatever. So you took me to Ramen Jinya. And that was the first time I went. Okay. And was I not supposed to say the restaurant? I mean, even though you're naming life in the past, we ain't moved. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it'd be great if you don't just go I down mean, memory lane of, ta- of locations. But we've tagged it on Instagram. I ain't like, tagged shit ever. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. And I've tagged stuff that you've been in. So, like, whatever. The Genia of Rama. Oh, there's okay. Like, so you just... All right. There's a <laughs> bunch of them. Dog, whatever. So, you, we were... Dog. Went, like dog dog catcher dog catcher dog catcher do the dog do the dog do the dog anyways <laughs> why must i be like that why must the i dog chase, chase the cat you got to put the dog in me down down and down don't ever talk about me. It's a banger. Don't ever talk about me in the microphone ever again in your life. Oh, it's loud. Oh, bro. 
You but blew it was a it banger. Out. I can't stop myself from singing a banger. Anytime I blow the speakers out from now on. No, but that's different. The micro, the headphones that I wear over there aren't as padded and well put together as these ones that we're wearing right now. Whatever. So whenever you yell, it's really loud. Like really, really loud. Really, really loud. Anyways, so you took me to Ramen Jinya. Okay. I won't say which one. It doesn't matter. You just there's stop so, bringing up the restaurant. There's so many. All right, Paloma. There really are, though. There are a bunch. Um, All right. So you took me there, and again, you were trying to be cute, and I was like, what is this? like?" And I think even when you were texting me, asking me to go to lunch, I was like, why? And you were like, so we can talk. And I was like, talk about what? <laughs> <laughs> you were like... I feel that. You were like, just let me take you. And I was like, fine. You picked me up. We went. And then you wanted to go to Ikea, and I was like, oh, this... Is mother- this is when you were wearing your blonde joint? No. No, no, no. This is after that. Yeah, I was like, this, this nigga thinks he's slick. I forgot we dropping though. <laughs> At least I am. I don't know. I know I'm you. black. I know you're black. Black. I'm black too. Okay. I'm black too. Yes, you are. And yeah. so is our cat. Um, so we went to IKEA. I don't think. I don't. You know, even okay. though she's black, she don't come off as a black. Like, are you kidding? Like a black animal? Yeah. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think animals have race. But if they did, sh- bro. Uh, maybe. Think about how she pulls up on us. Maybe. Like gangsta. I just never really. I don't know. Like, I, ne- I don't ever let m- the species... Yeah, whatever. We don't have to do this right of now. ...of animal... Don't cut me off. <laughs> we got time. We got so much time. Listen, I just don't think the species of animals match the race no, of their owners, fine. but go for it. Talk, that's talk, fine. your talk. <sighs> so anyways, um, <sighs> we went to Ikea, and that was like our thing back in the day. So we would go to Ikea and just walk around like two old, pe- like two old married people and just whatever it was like it was our thing who cares so it's still our thing you it said actually like is. you said like like we aren't together Ugh, it was our thing whatever gosh Ugh. we still got time you want to go to ikea baby we can't uh, we can't right now <laughs> fucking rona but i'll take you to ikea when it's over baby thanks honey i'll take you Anyways. you talking about like we didn't get together <laughs> not, <laughs> not that it, not that i'm coming down on you about it it's I just funny because like it's like when you talk about these stories, you put yourself right back in that yeah. in that space. Yeah. You'd be really good at acting. I know that you've tried it and you're like, I'm not for it. But it's just one of those things where it's like, you're you're pretty good at this. Thanks. Look at you. All right. I mean, like, I could do it, but I don't know. I, I don't... mean, I just don't, I don't know how to put myself in that. Ex- I mean, I've, I can get there, but it's like. Uh... It might be because I'm also like way more emotional than you. I, I got emotion. No, I'm not saying you don't, but I, like, I, I, let's I, think I, about I, it. Like, I, 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 I got emotion. Okay, great. You have emotions. What? Are you are you negating my emotions? No, I'm acknowledging them, not in the tone Were that you, you like. Were you? I was. Were you? Are you done? Passive aggressive is acknowledgement. Yeah, I can't say the word anymore. Go for it, honey. It's all you. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you were looking at the camera. It's hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, so. Um, walking around Ikea and he's like trying to be cute and like I remember you tried to like put your hand around my waist and I was like yeah can you fucking not (laughs) and then um, I got a phone call from work and it was kind of stressful and you like came over and rubbed my back and you were like are you okay and I'm like I'm fine thank you Um, and then I started to get pissed so we got in the car and I lived in downtown at the time so we're driving from Burbank to downtown oh more addresses bro we do- <laughs> i don't live in downtown i haven't lived in downtown for years I dog know. like i live in fucking toronto city to kidding? city from one place to the next <laughs> whatever so all right all right when a mother come through that window you tell me it's whatever all right that's what i'm i'm done <laughs> that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say let that a, right now that's i'm let done a motherfucker i'm done try. that's the last thing i'm gonna let say a motherfucker last try. thing i'm gonna go say which camera last thing i'm gonna say it's gonna go <laughs> a, a motherfucker pull way. up on us it's a wrap dog it's a wrap. Go for it, Salar. It's all you. It's all you. Sorry. I'm doing it again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. All right. Go for it, though. So we're driving, and we're driving to an undisclosed location. There you go. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There it is. So ridiculous. There it is, babe. This is like how many years? Like sh- Anyways. Great job, babe. You're so <sighs> frustrated look dre is over it she's over hey, it dre, go get me a snack from the kitchen no anyways so driving downtown 
Oops. And I'm starting to get more and more mad because I'm like, what the fuck? Is, like, what is this? Like, he took me to lunch. This was basically a fucking date. Like, you take me, you pick me up from work. You take me to lunch. We're going to Ikea. You're trying to be cute and shit. So I'm like, I'm just getting pissed. So by the time we're like, there's this part, if you live in LA on the freeway, where it's, um, what is it? Is it the five that turns into the 110? And... <laughs> keep going the five that turns into the 110 and i just i really started to like sweat because i was hot and then i started asking questions i'm like so why did you take me to lunch and you were like because because what because that's what homies do no because you were like i mean i thought it would be nice and so like you're doing this like we're going in this circle and then you know we start pulling onto the streets where i live in downtown and i'm just like No, like, fuck that. Why did you, why, why? You're like trying to touch my back. You're trying to be cute. Like, what, what is this? And you were like, I missed you. And I was like, that sent, that sent me. Cause you were like, I will, I missed you. And I was just like, oh, well that's really fucking convenient for you now, isn't it? Like you get to have your cake and eat it too. So what, you miss me, you call me, we hang out. And then like, what, I got to go back upstairs into my apartment and fucking cry my eyes out. And you were like, (laughs) What did I this, say? At this point, we had parked, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> and we're in the car, and you're just like, no, like, that's not, that's not what I'm trying to do. And I I don't give a fuck how sad you look at this point. I don't care that you're soft-spoken. I didn't give a fuck about any of that. I was like, you know what? No, fuck that. I was like, that is so fucking selfish that is like this is i'm so sick of this shit and i opened the car door and you had you had opened yours at that point and i got out of the car and that's when i really started to lose my mind and you sat in the car and i was like this is fucking ridiculous this is so stupid no this was okay so this wasn't the same ikea moment but i do remember this because i was in the car on the <laughs> corner mm-hmm. yeah i remember yeah, that on the corner of I'm no gonna... no you ain't gotta say it just on the corner whatever <laughs> so um and my dude this is like in the like early evening middle of the day like people are walking by oh like, yeah you was telling this, this shit a, in front of like 30 people this i was like busy, this like, is a busy street like, the fuck i look like no. the busy street in downtown oh and we'll get we'll get to that what, what, what do you what? look like part because so i'm going off i'm like this is fucking stupid like this is so selfish like what the fuck da, 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 da. and you very quietly like in the car looking at the steering wheel were like I really don't appreciate the way you're talking to me right now. I don't like it. And I was like, I don't give a fuck how you feel. I don't give a fuck if you don't like the way I'm talking to you. I don't like this. Your feelings are a non motherfucking factor to me right now. I don't give a fuck. Fuck. How many fucks did you use? A lot. Was there that many fucks? Yeah, because you were like, your head was like in the I steering remember, wheel. I remember that. And I remember after that, we went up, up the street and talked. And no, we didn't. Was that another time? Yeah, you're thinking of something else. No, I was like shaking. I was so mad. And I was just like, fuck, just fuck this. And I just turned around and walked away. And I was like, I can't fucking do this anymore. And I walked into the house and just fucking collapsed uh-huh. and cried and mind you when all this is going on i hadn't told um chelsea vanessa or molly that we weren't talking or together anymore and i was like keeping it to myself because i was like i just didn't want to have to like talk like girls you know like you talk to your girlfriends you bring it all up it's like a whole thing whatever and um so that happened on a friday monday morning um, I used to be a buyer and a manager for a clothing store and every Monday we would go downtown and go buying and so it's my boss myself and um, Is it me bringing you flowers no my assistant well, I'll try <laughs> you did the flowers before which were really sweet I did it before uh, yeah dude, just, shh. okay I'm, um, listen, I'm trying to listen to timeline <laughs> so um, it's me and, the, and my assistant manager and my assistant Molly and we pull up and there's this dude standing outside of the store talking to our friend Vanessa who um worked at the store we shared a wall she worked at the store next door and we pull up and the dude is JD and wait so then this is the moment I'm thinking of yeah you didn't bring me flowers though did you oh never no mind. you didn't bring Continue. me flowers so this dude was very like you threw me off I was like who is this man Obviously, <laughs> I was confused I, I I'm just telling I was Obby. lost Obvi. 
So anyways, um, so he's standing out there and <laughs> I remember Jane being like, who is that? And then Molly was like, oh, my God, is that? And then I was like, fuck. And Jane was like, what do we do? Do we keep going? And I'm like, dude, you stopped the car like it's in part. No, we can't drive off. And I was like, we just have to get off. And I was like, we have to get out of the car and nobody knows him. Nobody knows anything. Nobody knows nobody him. fucking knows him. I was like, don't look at him. I was like, Jane, <laughs> we will take everything out of this car. Don't you fucking look at him. I was like, Molly. And she was like, I don't know him. Because Molly's a down ass bitch for not for nothing. Molly, because that's these East Coast women are built I don't different. Know him. She was like, I don't know nothing. That's I don't funny. know. Him. I don't you don't you hate him. I hate him. You like him. I love him. Like she's she's down as shit. These so are facts. I've heard I've heard of stories like that. Yeah. Molly's dope. So we unloaded the bags and I remember her being like, I'm just going to look at the ground. And I'm like, yeah, just look at the floor. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. And we grabbed the bags. We go inside. And then she left because she was off for the day. And you came in and I remember you were standing by the door and you had this big smile on your face and I just walked right past you because I was like, no, fuck this. I'm not. No. Like this was the following day from the previous no, night. This was a few days this later. This was a few days later because that what that uh, that thing that we had in the street was on a Friday and then Monday you came to the store. So uh, it was like over the weekend. OK. And then um, you came in the store and <laughs> and I was just like, what are you doing here? And you were like, hey. And I'm like, what do you what do you want? What did I say? You were like, I just wanted to talk to you. And I'm like, yeah, that didn't go so well last time. What do you want? I was done. Like, I was done. Well, you I was can't knock a brother for trying. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, I like, does he want me to get arrested? Like, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna fucking lose my shit. So two customers walk into the store mm -hmm. at this point. And you're like trying to talk to me. You're like, can I just talk to you for a minute? And I'm like, what? What do you want? And you were like, well, I just wanted to ask you, are you free? Sunday the 14th or something. I drove all the way over to you instead of texting you because you weren't answering my phone calls? Were you like... No, you didn't even try to call me. Like, you just showed up. Because you knew. Some, I was... I. Pretty, uh... You'd never seen me like that. Like, you know, ne I'd never screamed at you like that, let alone in public. I had never told you, I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Like, who yeah. says that? You do. Yeah. You so, say it like every Wednesday now. Shut up. <laughs> Stop, because they really think that. I know. I'm they really are going to think I'm like some it's, asshole no. wife who's no, like, fuck just, you and your feelings. You're so normal. You're normal. And people, I think that's so funny uh, if anybody ever thinks any. Did you, you touched that, didn't you? It's all right. Um, please stop. Sorry. Please. I was trying to fix you're, it. You're killing me. Um, no, you're great, honey. Like, in the, so in the, are you. No, I'm just saying that's like. Off. There it is. Yeah. We're the yeah, six. Yeah, we're yeah. the sixes. Yeah, Don't yeah. touch. Did you touch it again? No, I didn't. Anyways, get back to the story. I was just trying to say that you're perfect and I love you. You're perfect and I love you. We're lying to each other. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we love each other. We're not we do. perfect. Nobody's perfect. Uh, I don't have the story. You, you do. Go for it. So, um, so you were you were asking me like, what are you doing two Sundays from now? And I was like, it's Sunday. I'm probably working. Like, what do you what? Why are you asking me this? And you were like, just just can you check if you're free? Why? I'm not going to hang out. What do you want? <laughs> and you were like, can you just can you just look? And I'm like, fine. So I go and I pull out the schedule and I'm like, I don't know yet. We haven't written in the day. What do you want? And you were like, well, I was wondering if um, you would come to my parents Christmas party with me. And I was like, no. And you were like, well, I was wondering if you would come with me as my girlfriend. And I was like, huh. Girlfriend, that's a strange word for you. <laughs> like a girl that's your friend or like a girl that you hang out with uh, or like in a relationship. I think I remember saying this like in a relationship on Facebook, like like girlfriend. What are you talking about? Because that's a, that's a hard word for you. There are two customers in the store who are like listening with bet breath that is baited at this point. I believe it. And you were like, no, it's like, it's like my girlfriend. And I was like, what? It's like, 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 and you like, were like, no, like, like I want to know if you want to come to this party with me as my girlfriend. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know what that means. And I was like, I think I need to hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> I remember, I remember this. You were like, I remember this. You were like, will you be my girlfriend and i was like what and you were like will you be my girlfriend and i was like yeah i can't hear you and then you i'm were not like, gonna i'm not gonna lie to you 
even though this wasn't <laughs> exactly verbatim the way I mean, even if it was verbatim the way that you're saying it, I I believe it is what yeah. happened. But the way you're telling it, <laughs> the way you're telling it made me sound like a bitch. Like, no. no, I know, but I'm just letting you know people in the, I, it doesn't matter what people think, but I know what they are going to think. Damn, you just like press this motherfucker to speak I up did. and say it like I that. I did. I'm not saying you didn't, but in the sense of people getting the wrong idea about you, which I know you don't care. It's not about that. It's more about, it's more about the fact that the story comes off like, yeah. So in the sense of backtracking on the ultimatum thing, it it makes it sound like, oh, now, now you did, you are pressing me. Well, cause I was pressing you cause I was like, oh wow. So what it took me acting belligerent in the street for you to. Yeah, no. And and that's the thing. And then you just, it, it wasn't even what really I think was throwing me that day was when I got out of the fucking car, you were smiling at me like you won Publisher's Clearinghouse. Like you won a million dollars. I was and smiling because you make me smile. That's nice. In that moment, in that moment, I was like, what the fuck is this nigga smiling? I ain't shit to smile about out here. I will deck this motherfucker. Like, what is he? Is he crazy? He's fucking nuts. I might be crazy. And then when you came in the store, like, because you do that thing, when we talk about this, hmm. When I'm upset because it's like zero to 50 billion, Mm -hmm. you like kind of come at me like a caged animal. (laughs) You're like, hey, just just do a temperature check. Wait, 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 (laughs) wait. You sound like the TikTok that goes, hey, how y'all doing? (laughs) Hi. Yeah, that's because you're like, I want to see like where she's at. It's okay. And where she's at. And so, um, but no, JD wasn't a bitch in that moment. It was just God. It was hard. I mean, it, I get he's, it. He's fucking no, with the cameras. That's what I'm saying. No, that. no, oh no, that's what you're worried about. Don't worry about it. My no. thing, my thing is in that moment. Uh, even though I don't remember it being that <clears throat> to the to the nose, because it wasn't for you. Like no, you, it, but that I'm, wasn't that crazy for you, probably. No, no, no. But I'm saying the way that you're telling it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you wanted to be with me, and you. And if and if we couldn't be together, I just wanted you to leave me the fuck alone. Exactly. So then when I was ready to make that decision, you were like, don't tippy toe. If you want to be. It wasn't even. I think not not in a negative way. It wasn't even don't tippy toe. I was still upset and I was hurt and I like didn't know how to take all of this. And then I'm trying to like work through it. And I had finally told Vanessa and Molly at this point and like, you know, was getting support from my friends Um and then you show up at my job and I was just like, what? Like, yeah, that's a little impro- unprofessional. It wasn't unprofessional. It was like it was beautiful. I mean, a lot of girls would probably be like, oh, my God, that's a big gesture. He showed up, which and it was it was great. Like hindsight, like it was wonderful that you did that and you showed up and you, you know, really showed me that you wanted to be with me in like a real way. Mm-hmm. But in that moment, it was just like, can't it like you can't you won't be with me but you won't be without me and i can't have any peace and i'm i'm just not gonna fucking i'm just done bro yeah like, it's a lot it's a lot emotionally and uh, uh yeah uh you know uh, i mean i think the word is emotion it's not yeah. is it anything else then yeah emotion? it was just it was emotionally really it's, a, it's, it's jarring and it's and it's also just a uh, somewhat inconsiderate to, it is a lot inconsiderate to your feelings of what you had told me previously but um but I mean, you were like at the time, like you were doing the best you could with where you were at that point in your life, which was, which is fine. Like I respect it, mm-hmm. but, um, yeah. So you'd ask me the second time and I was like, yeah, I, I can't hear you. Like, I'm just gonna, you know, I don't know. You need to figure that out. Like I can't hear you. <laughs> and then you were like, will you be my girlfriend? I remember that. And I was just like, was yeah, cute. calm down. Stop yelling. <laughs> 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 and I remember the the two customers, the one chick had kind of like. Did they clap or something? No. They were like, they were just like, mm-hmm. But the one lady, I remember she was like. That's funny. Like she winked at me and Look I was like, thanks. Look at us boo. having a little, having a little viral moment. And then you were like, yeah. And then you were like, oh, the, the party. And I was like, yeah, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny and, um, no, and then was... like and then you know it took some time but like you know we went um you know it took time and we went to the party the party was in like two weeks and 
I followed you back on Instagram. Well, wait, wait, I... wait, wait. Before we get to the party, because you're yeah. my girlfriend at this point, are yeah. we gonna? Are we continuing into the story of then you being my girlfriend, or are we? No, I think we can save that because then the whole podcast will just be about our story. The first three episodes will be our story if yeah, we do that. I don't think we because then we have to get into the first year of our relationship. You know what? How about this? How about like which is possible. <laughs> It's a lot. I don't know if you want to do that. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if emotionally I want to do that. <laughs> the way, because that. The way my checking and my, and my saving. I'm just kidding. That was <laughs> Sorry, like. Was it, was fi- it was fine. And then there was that one period where I was like, this is why. This is why I should just be by my motherfucking self. This is too much. Well, look at us now. I'm just kidding. Okay, just so. Kidding. If you guys want to hear more about our story, then let us know. Send us like if you have specific questions, like yeah. definitely drop us a voicemail on Anchor. Um, they're really cool. We love hearing them. Um, we only got like two. But if you guys have specific questions, that's a really great way for um, us to talk about more of what, what you guys want to hear. Yeah, and- no, it's a, it's a great way for us to get some dialogue going. Because yeah. that way we're not just rambling about our own personal stuff. Yeah. If, you, if you all have questions about not just <laughs> oh, relationships, we... Oh, now you're worried about the mic. I didn't want to get makeup on your mic. Oh, That's I, thought, rude. I thought there was I thought there was fuzz on it. I was gonna no, say if if there's I, I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> I was gonna say if there are things that you all have questions for us about, whether it's relationship, Whatever. advice or life or I don't know. I, I mean I don't it doesn't have to be partner advice. Yeah. It doesn't have to be that at all. It could be whatever the hell you Ladies. want. Ladies. Ladies less. <laughs> Go to fellas. Cam- go to camera and say, "Fellas, I'll give you some good perspective. I give good. I feel like I give good advice to dudes. You give great. I think you give great advice. Oh, yeah, thanks. in general, like you have a great outlook on most things from both sides. Yeah, you're very. Oh, you should be a therapist. Just Ooh. kidding. Don't want that. Me? Um, <laughs> I mean, I want you being my therapist. Oh no, but me and Kelly have actually talked about that, and I told her I was like, I don't know how you do this because I'd be so fucking annoyed. I would be like, if somebody kept coming into me and like... With the same problem? Bro. Oh, my God. I would be the worst. Hey, I couldn't do it. I would be the worst therapist. I would be like, motherfucker, I told you two weeks ago. I can't do it now. Excuse me. Not about you. Oh. About other petty. Petty, petty. I'm done. I'm done. Uh, Listen. (laughs) Listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Listen. 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 Oh, these, we're so tacky these stop damaged, stop these damaged imbeciles just walking uh, around listen regardless of that regardless of that everybody I should go get, get help therapy. is what we're that's our recommendation yeah we're that, really like i think that's a nice little topic to talk about like therapy yeah we take therapy so <laughs> we, take, we do like we, we take ta- we take lsd we take <laughs> therapy <laughs> we each have our own therapist and, yeah. and we're going to have group therapy in the future shout but, out dr kelly www.drkellyawilliams.com yeah, I don't care. I'm happy. I know to you don't care. Therapist. You, I know, I know. She, you know, she has a podcast. <gasps> Does she? Yeah, it's called Dear Mother. I don't know. It's that. also on Anchor. It's oh, shout great. out to shout out to Dr. Kelly. Yeah, Go check out Dear Mother. If you have a narcissistic mother or a narcissistic parent, it's a great. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> cool. Oh, uh, that's funny. Try to hear that. I was gonna say before we get. I mean, we're not leaving anytime soon. We got some time left. We can talk for however long we want since I have the cameras how on a continuous. Been, how, long, how long? It's coming up on an hour, but but oh. that's an hour including all the bullshit we did in the beginning. Like that was. I'm, oh, I'm gonna. So cl- our banter is bullshit now. Absolutely, but I was. Gonna, <gasps> <laughs> no, I was gonna say that I'm. I'm probably gonna clip out not the beginning. Beginning. I'm gonna clip out. I for, didn't. Wasn't there something before we started rambling and saying hello? That was. I don't. Know. I don't know. But regardless of that, who cares? I was thinking we could listen to the first yeah. two messages that we did get on Anchor mm-hmm. to end the episode. Mm-hmm. And on the between now and the next episode, we'll figure out if that's how we're going to ask questions or talk about. It. I have no idea yet, but hey. But, um, but yeah, like if you have questions or even if you just want to like say something to us, drop us a voicemail on Anchor, drop us a comment. We read them. We respond. Um, you know, cause this is all about you guys getting to know us. It's just being fun and tacky and just being goofballs and we love interacting with y'all. So if you, you know, I know a lot, like I know a lot of people that follow both of us, you know, DM me and DM JD, like we just comment, whatever. We're happy to, you know, keep the vibes going kiddos. Yes, 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 y'all. 
and you don't stop. All right, so let's uh, hear our first. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Our first, uh, what's it called? In three. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got to figure out how to find it, though. <laughs> how do I? Am so I while JD finds it. Um, you have to go there. Ooh. Oh, oh, do they? Oh, OK. Oh, oh, right. oh, right. oh. I, I got our first our first oh. two. And this one comes to us from McNeil Irving Jr. And I'm going to play it out loud. But don't comment till it's over because I'm going to, like, edit the audio in. Are you going to edit it in? Pilar. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> Don't start. Don't start that shit. Won't be no shit. <laughs> Don't you do that. All right. You want to kiss? Why are you looking at the fucking thing when I'm kissing you? Because I like to look at this Look kiss. at me. Mwah. <laughs> I uh, look like a fucking asshole. Uh. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. McNeil Irving Jr. Talk to us, McNeil. Shh. Talk to us. Pull our stop, man. <laughs> Damn! Now you messed it up. Oh, I didn't do that. Damn. Stop, I, Pilar. Can I? Can I? Can I let the motherfucker play? Can I let it play? <laughs> Look at you cursing. It's my you first curse word of the episode. Dirty bird, <laughs> you dirty, dirty little fun haver. Three, two, one. It. Uh, yeah. Hey, JD and Pilar. Uh, I just want to know what y'all think about this coronavirus. Uh, I've been doing a lot of research on it, looking at videos, putting two and two together. And a lot of people say it's this, the, the 5G network that these uh, these towers are emitting like uh, some kind of radiation. And I really kind of believe this is a cover up for the New World Order. Tell me what y'all think. Are we going to get into that right now, or we want to get into that on a future episode? I didn't know that that was his question. I thought, oh, there was a previous one. Oops, mm-hmm. that was the that was the second one I just uploaded. Oopsies. Okay. What the <laughs> fuck? You might as well shave her. She's damn near hairless. Um, You said it would be scary if I shaved her. Hella scary. Ooh, yes, girl. Get on your man. Let him know. You guys can't see, but Drea, like, quick side note, Drea is obsessed with JD. Like, in her world, I am the mistress, and she is his wife, and she just, like, claims him really hard. Like, I wish I could move one of the cameras. She's, like, sitting on his thigh and just thriving. Oh, I'll take a picture, can, and then I'll show the camera. Can fucking continue the podcast. <laughs> can fucking continue the podcast. Just, like, talk. All right. Well, uh... Shout out to McNeil Irving Jr. for the question. I feel like we could talk about COVID. You can yeah. talk. We're on. T- I don't want to. I mean, I, I, quick thoughts on it. Um, sorry, McNeil. I there was thinking go. this could be a podcast conversation for the whole next episode, but man, I don't know. Uh, this whole twenty twenty has been really crazy, and uh, I personally, I don't think, I don't think it's a conspiracy. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's that. Also, I don't think 5G towers have anything to do with it. I think that's more just uh, what people have been talking about because we don't even have enough 5G towers out there to have a lasting effect on people. Well, I apparently don't... they've been putting them up like crazy and but... certain people have died from radiation like children and stuff like that. Well, if it is if it is a thing and it's a cover-up, then it, uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, but... I don't think it ha- I don't think the two are related. I think they're separate things that are happening at the same time. Yeah, and that's our quick take on it. I think we can get a little bit deeper into it on the next one. But yeah. I, I just wanted to play the first two yeah. voicemails for you. But, but Mc, we will but, get into yeah, it. Yeah, but McNeil, we that'll be a topic for the yes. following episode. 100%. That we will jump into. We will definitely sit back and be like, hmm. Yeah. Because I, I really don't, I mean, I don't have my facts straight to the sense of knowing exactly where it comes from, who it comes from, how it came about. I just know that it's here and we're stuck inside and that's why y'all got content. Oh, Okay. Mm-hmm. I know, like where and kind I mean, of I know the stuff. Started. I know the stuff about like I should have left this here. I know the stuff about like the bats and all that. But we'll get like I said, we'll get yeah, into it on the next episode. episode. I don't because I don't, this is a whole other episode. Yeah, that, no, it's it a is. great question. Though. It is. It is. It Thank is. you. All right, and then the following. Well, I re- I apologize because this was the original question. It's not even a question. It's the original recording I was going to play for you, which was from when we first started back in September. This is from September twenty fifth, twenty nineteen. 
and it comes to us from James, and let's listen. What's going on, J.D. and Pilar? Looking forward to the new podcast. Me and my wife will definitely be tuning in and Aww. checking out all the tea and gossip that you guys have, and also the relationship advice. Myself, I also have a podcast called The World of Floaters. If any of Aww. your listeners have eye floaters and looking for solutions and treatments, they should definitely check out the podcast World of Floaters right here on the Anchor platform as well. All right, looking forward to all the tea. Aww. I'll be checking it out and favoriting the podcast as well. Aww. Yee. <laughs> <laughs> Yee. Aww, that was nice. Vibes. Vibes, yeah. Vibes. That uh, was really nice. Shout out to World of Floaters and uh, James's Pocket. That's not James, your cousin, is it? No, 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 no. He sounds kind of like him, though. No, he doesn't. Not at all. James, no? James doesn't have that much of a twang. Mm-mm. All right. Well, and J- James, James is hilarious. Completely different. Yeah. All and right. just his license plate alone. Well, we were going to talk about what we were like currently watching on Netflix, but I feel like that's another podcast too. Like we're getting to the back end of this podcast now that we've continued with part two of our I mean, where relationship are story. I mean, we can jot them down, but we can't go into a whole tangent on Tiger King right now. Why? Like, cause then it's a, I don't know, because I don't think they should be two-hour podcasts. Carol Baskin. Killed her husband. <laughs> Damn. Um, I mean, I don't know. Bitch, Carol Baskin. Bitch, Carol Baskin. Okay, know. fine. We'll, we'll see if Tiger King, because I will go off on like a I I think they should. Tangent. I think they should. Uh, I mean, I don't know. We're new, we're new to this, so I don't have any particular. I mean, I, I've I've done podcasting before, but with like a format. This doesn't really have a format, so I love I'm, that. which is great. I don't dislike it. I'm just saying, is there more tea and or talk we want to distribute? We could. I don't mind. I don't know what to talk about other than being in quarantine, <sighs> and being trapped in the home, oh my God. and living Bro. by your side every single day, which I love. Don't touch me. Don't I, touch me when you say that. You said that sarcastically, and then you want to you want to fucking touch me because living by your side every day, which I love. No, you don't. Neither do I. What you talking about, JD? Please, like, what we, you mean? We're uh, you ain't trying to be next to me every goddamn day of the week. You're not trying to be next, JD. You're not trying to be next to me every hour. Like I am so touchy feely and always trying to like sexually harass you in some way. Not really, because in this climate, you can't really joke about things like that. Mm. But. I'm start. always like trying to cop a feel and he sometimes is just like Polar I love you but like please <laughs> I just didn't grow up with that I know I didn't grow up with that I know I didn't grow up with that that's why I'm like don't fucking like you like and we're both very independent people and you know like even me like I'm an only child and you know I like freak out if I don't have my own space in certain like even when we go on trips like you know, there's like a time where it usually in the morning where I need to be by myself. Like I will go off. We were in Atlanta and you were before we went to sleep. You're like, hey, um, if you're going to get up and go explore, just be back by one o'clock because I have plans. Because, <laughs> you know, I did, like, I did have plans. Yeah. I know you did. But you know that I like get up and walk around and go explore and, and like That's do your vibe. The things. It is my vibe, but it also is like me kind of. It's like my self care because I just need like some time by myself in order to be there for other people. I feel that. I feel that, and that's I feel I need that as well. Exactly. All which right. Is hard to do in quarantine. Well, y'all, I think that's a successful episode too. Personally, like I don't have Naked Fridays anymore. Why can't you be naked? Because you be it, naked. You're in our our own it's house. It's not the same when you're here. Like when you would go to Atlanta. Oh, you mean just be naked by yourself in the but, house? No, but I'd have a dance party. Like because when I lived when I was by when I lived. Like before we moved in and got before we got married and moved in together, I would have naked Sundays. All right, well, either do them, <laughs> either do them or don't do them, honey. I I don't mind. Anybody way. else have like a naked Sunday or like a naked day where it's not all day? I have I days where that. I walk around the crib naked. It's beautiful. You do? Of course. I look in the mirror for hours on end. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, that's you. Jesus that's you play. That's you play. All right. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i forget like people I do know what we you're know listen to this i don't give a shit like jason being and naked <laughs> i don't give a fuck about that no but like it's funny because like even on the call today when she like brought oh, something yeah, up, i was like it, yeah. oh my god like i didn't think you guys would which i'm like fine i don't care but it was I just mean, if funny we put it out there people will check it out hopefully y'all enjoy this i hope yeah you do. um because <laughs> 
fucking newscaster. I hope I you. I hope you do. I do hope you enjoy this because this podcast is brought to you by quarantine. Quarantine. I was gonna say our hearts, but <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> brought to you by the lack of out outdoor. Brought to you by that bitch Rona. Is it a bitch? Why is it Rona? Why can't? Because Rona? Rona can get her ass whooped. Fuck her. It's a woman. Yeah. Okay. Even though I do, okay. For the record, I do have a client named Rona. Rona, I love you. I'm not talking. Oh, about don't pull you. back now. I'm don't talking, pull back now. That bitch up. can get her ass whooped. No, I love my client, Rona. Rona. Okay. We're, we call her Rona, Rona, whatever. But she's amazing. I do love her. So I'm talking about the virus. In case she ever sees this. Rona, I adore you. You're so great. And she has a beautiful jewelry line. Rona Five Her. Please go check it out. I should probably I don't know. I love it's her. Way too late for this. Way too late for that. She already she already she no, already taken you off, she of, knows, her, off no, of her call list. No, she knows the vibes. She knows the vibes. Dude, she honestly she is the vibe. Dude, she's so chic and badass and stylish. Like I aspire to be that fucking cool wow as i get older dude she's like she's a sick bob and like these glasses and she has like this really cool gucci belt and she always has like boyfriend jeans on with like a super chic like crisp white tee and like a black blazer and these like cool glasses and he's like dude she's just just fucking awesome speaking <laughs> of vibes <laughs> The vibe is to end this goddamn podcast. I'm ready to go. All right. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Are you going to? We gonna? We ain't going to talk about this shit on, on the goddamn thing. No. No, no. Are you going to? Get. <laughs> what the Are fuck? Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Listen. So our trainers don't hear us. Are you going to? Oh, oh. Are you going to get the. Uh... I don't really want that, though. I can eat it, but I don't really want it. What do we you need, want? What we need, do you want? I want something a little healthier. Like little. what? I don't know. That I... is healthy. That's protein, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up. What <laughs> are you talking about? It's protein, That's baby. protein, baby. Is that good protein? Get your hands off my face. <laughs> Look at her. Look at her. Yeah, she going to smack one of us for yelling so goddamn much. She next to you, bro. Listen, y'all. I appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah, thank you, guys. We're wild as shit, and we appreciate the fact that you guys, like, listen in and like it's only episode two (laughs) we're not even like i feel like you really get in like people talk about podcasting and they talk about milestones and it's like once you're past like the first almost even 50 like the first 25 to 50 to me that's when people really start to find their voices in their podcast i wouldn't know anything about that because i haven't gotten to an episode 50 on any of the shits i've done (laughs) same yeah we're on episode 35 for paul and i's thing that's a lot though it's a lot but it's been like five years it's been been like six years i don't care (laughs) if it was a priority then yeah what would kelly say don't downplay yourself no i'm not because that's what you said in the last i'm downplaying our fucking podcast because well don't do that all right i won't all right, y'all. Um, with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Talk and Tea with Pilar and JD. And JD. And uh, yeah, we're going to wrap it up here. You got any last things to say? Follow us on Anchor. Check out. Yeah. Um, subscribe. Subscribe to Pilar's YouTube channel. Uh, we're probably going to be redistributing clips from our podcast to different platforms that I'm on and she's on. God, so I love podcast clips. Be on the lookout for those on Instagram. I think these could be really funny on Instagram. Bro, like if I yes. cut them and made them IGTV videos that were like long form and you cut between. Yeah, dog, what do I watch all day? Dog. What do I listen to all dog. day? What do I listen to? Podcast clips dog. of Joey fucking Diaz. Because the dog clips are hysterical. Dog catch I'm, I'm done. Slap you. <laughs> I know you will listen to Coke Joey Coco Diaz. Listen, Every dude. day I come I walk <laughs> by her and her fucking <laughs> computer's on or her phone and she's or like my iPad. all I hear is you got to fucking take the fucking cocaine savages. and put it in your asshole like Joey Coco Diaz. He doesn't put it in his asshole. He puts it under his balls. Under my balls. That's where he puts his reefer. So he calls it his reefer. Check out Go with Joey Coco I Diaz. Need, he's, a fun, need, he's a great comedian. I need the pandemic to end just so I can go see him at the store or something. Like, he's yeah. so fun. Like, Shout out to all the podcasting bro, com- comedians. He's so funny. Like, just, like, when he took <laughs> Don't go into a tangent about Joey Coco Diaz right now, Pilar. Don't do this shit right now. Let's end this motherfucker, man. He was talking about, like, I think Lee getting food or something. Or somebody like, oh, no, he's talking to this one dude about, like, Eddie or somebody about getting a taco. And he's like, yeah, dog, I was just, like, hella drunk. And I just wanted to go get a taco. And he was, he's like, so I went to Taco Bell. And he was like, what are you doing with Taco Bell? 
<laughs> it's just like so it's so I, funny I listen, he's I listen to that episode with you cute. look at her she put her paw forward that's what's that mean that's hers did she get mad no she's just trying to let you know baby what's going down after maybe the we can hey maybe we can do an episode about our favorite podcast too okay yeah I've got a few like me too skinny confidential yeah I got a few that I, I could recommend all right y'all uh with that I think that is the end of our episode two. Talking tea with, with Pilar and JD. Feel free to make us an intro song. Oh, yeah. Some people do that. Not that you they have did, to. They did that for Casey and Candace. Yeah. Casey See? and Candace. I mean, I don't know. We, I mean, we have our little little beat that we play, but. Oh, yeah. Dun, dun, but I, feel free to. If you if you know we'll feature him if you guys if you guys yeah. ever, if you ever make anything cool for bro we will you know shout you out if we're you, here for I'm it I'm just saying if anybody ever makes anything cool of us I'm always yeah. I, I've had people do uh like you know like fan art of us back in the I day I know so uh I don't know it's not 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 saying that's what we need or that's what no. we're encouraging you to do because we think you have free time like no, that. no 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 not at all just saying feel free to uh be a part of the community yeah. all right cool catch uh, a vibe catch a vibe Order maybe music. maybe eventually we'll make a discord for the podcast that would be so cute can you teach me how to use it yeah okay great that'd be so funny and we could talk about topics in there oh my god wait i don't really understand i'll explain this. it to Thank you later you. all right y'all are you gonna order me food yes Pilar, i'm gonna order you are you gonna food. feed me holy shit pilar yes we all we all getting food <laughs> All right, y'all. We love you. Thank you for coming through. And we'll catch you on the next one. Feed me. Bye. Bye.